how do I impress those who don't know me at all? That means meticulous attention to detail in terms both of the composition of any letter of application you send and of trying to forge links that might help you to get through the door in the first place. Thirdly, huge attention needs then to be devoted to what you will say to try to impress. What is your script? What is your USP? What is your presentation, if you will, formal or informal? And remember that old adage of Churchill's, I apologise for making such a long speech, but I'm afraid I didn't have time to prepare a short one, from which you learn what lesson? Well, you've very often got a brief window of opportunity in which to impress. So you've got to distill and crystallise into a pithy message the essence of what makes you the right product for them to take on. What is it, if you encapsulate it in a sentence or two, that you offer that others don't or that you offer better than others don't? That's, I suppose, the third thing. And the fourth thing I would say by way of general advice is this. Select for yourself a limited number of objectives for each period, let's say a period of a year. It's better to do two or three things by way of serious career objectives really well in the course of a year than to have a scattergun approach of six, seven, eight, nine, ten things that you do indifferently. It's best to make incremental gains that are solid, incremental gains that are solid and dependable, rather than to fly off in a variety of different directions with greater or lesser degrees of sustainable success. That's my fourth piece of advice. And my final piece of advice to remember is this, and it's, I suppose, autobiographical. There are two ingredients to success. There is the ingredient called inspiration for which read talent, skill set, ability, which is very important. So, for example, you're not going to become Wimbledon champion if you don't have decent ball sense or hand-eye coordination because that's a pretty essential ingredient to a successful tennis player or indeed a successful golfer for that matter. On the other hand, it's a great mis mistake to think <coughs> that the only ingredient that matters is really ability. Not so. The other ingredient is not inspiration, but perspiration, hard work, assiduity, doing the detail, refusing to lose, never saying die, insisting on getting up and continuing and prevailing. I don't regard myself as an A brain at all. I hope I've got a reasonable brain, but I don't claim to have an exceptional brain. I am quite dogged and persistent. I do keep, as Churchill would say, keep buggering on. I keep going, keep trying, keep working, keep applying myself. And that, I think, is pretty cool. Jesus, I hope that those remarks are helpful. I wish you great success in your mission to build, to impress. And I hope you derive satisfaction from its pursuit. Onwards and upwards, man. Order! Order.